Alright guys, we are back with another episode of Farming Simulator. We're going to start with our dairy cattle. We got them bought, and we just need to get the grass and everything and get them fed. So, some changes. Got a 7210 Magnum, might change the number. I got to figure out why the other number's trying to come through. So we got that, we got, the, we got an old school Magnum here, we got Keysage, this bind, so. Change the number, change the rate, you know, change the volume on the tractor a little bit, and added some smoke. So. Yeah, not a bad tractor. The interior looks nice too. Shit, I'm pay attention to what the fuck I'm doing here. A <laughs> uh, little Europeanish with the bigger fenders on it, but that's okay. All the other Magnums I tried uh, fucking wanted to tip over all the time, so. Yeah, recorded a video yesterday. Uh, forgot to record some. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I have an issue with that. <laughs> so now I basically get to cut this piece all over again. Figured, you know what the hell, we're just going to do all case age on this farm pretty much. And then the deer planter and stuff. Um, got rid of the 46, 4440 for this. And the MoCo, which is basically the same thing. The disc bind, the mod is anyway. And... Then, so yeah, got rid of the 4440. Got this uh, 7210. Um, and then, got rid of the 4640. And I've got a 235 Magnum for that now. So, some changes. Like I said, I, I just, fuck it. Might as well just go all case I Other than my little, my little Ford there. But, um, yeah. So now we're, well now we're, <laughs> we're all red here. Um, and not for nothing. Probably gonna piss off my family. But that's okay. <laughs> Uh, like I said, I grew up hardcore deer, um, so, but you know what, I found there are better things, so, there's that. And I gotta try to figure out how the fuck I'm gonna, oh yeah, let's just, uh, waste some time here. <laughs> I want to make sure that my rows, you know, are kind of even and heading in the same direction here. But yeah, really actually impressed with this tractor. I like it a lot. Details nice. It's got the front drive shaft for the four wheel drive. <laughs> well, uh, shit happens. But the interior is fucking spot on, bro. Like for real. It looks fucking sick. Yeah. 
actually, I guess I can stick to the middle on this one. This track might be a little bit different here. So, that's not actually nice. So now I'm not stomping all over my fucking hand this cut. So. But supposedly this also gets dirty too, so. We're not losing anything there, as well as it just buying it. It's dirty. Obviously, it's the same as that New Holland I had. Um, it's still a deer mo color, just a different color than decals, so... Yeah, as long as I stay like this, you can't tell that the other number's underneath there. <laughs> I gotta get that fixed, but, uh... <laughs> that's okay. Oh, man, it could be worse. I could be driving an Alice. Um, <laughs> sorry for you Alice fans, I am not a fan of Alice, so. Which we might widen out the tires maybe here a little bit, the back tires. Kind of looks like they're a little, uh, a little goofy there. Um, uh, on the inside of the front tires, so. But, uh, yeah, a few details we can work out. which ain't nothing but a thing. Nice, nice tractor. I do definitely fucking do it. I wish I would have found this tractor a long time ago. But, you know, in my big pile of mods here. Um, you yeah. know. Actually, yeah. Cool. It will take care of it, so. Sweet. I guess we're going to be driving on our hand anyways. <laughs> I believe you. Yeah, it ain't missing any, so we're cool. But yeah, this is probably going to be the new main tractor over at the bee farm there. It's going to be cutting some hay. It's going to be hauling manure over there um, and all that kind of stuff. Probably going to be pulling some chopper boxes with her. I do like it. It's got the beacon on it and everything. So yeah, it's probably going to be pulling some chopper boxes. So basically that 1086 over there is, um, yeah. She might be, might be fucked there, kid. Um, which actually I may sell that one, just kind of depends. But we'll see how things go. Although it's got the hitch in the right spot. I don't know if this one does. I don't think so. I don't know. I may try it out here. Um, put it on the T line. See if it's all jacked up. If it's got the upper hitch in the... TMR is level, well then we're just going to go with that one then. Still says it's a 7250 or whatever. Horsepower reflects it, but I can probably, I can tweak that kind of stuff, so I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, definitely had to get it rolling some coal. There isn't too many magnums around here that don't blow some black smoke. Especially, well, if it had the 8.3 comes in it, it definitely does. So you're talking these magnums, these square bodies, I guess you could call them. Um, and then the MX magnums, which had the 8.3 in them. Uh, they all like to blow a little smoke. And that came from factory that way. And especially if you're going to turn them up, yeah, they'll definitely blow some smoke down. Oh, what am I doing here? 
It does need to go in this way. Messing up on my video. Yeah, I thought I'd show this off. It's a little bit different, something, uh, something a little different, so. Like I said, this is going to be probably the new main tractor over to Beef Farm there. Stuff like that, she's going to be pulling some chopper boxes and pulling some manure over there and stuff like that, so. As long as the TMR isn't all jacked up here and stuff like that, uh, the 1086 over at that farm, I might just get rid of it. So. But we'll see how things go. But I might keep it though, simply because this track is going to be doing enough. So I might, I'll probably actually keep it because then that uh, other 1086 can do some windrow into, which this might take some windrow duties off of the 10. But we'll see how things go. <laughs> I don't want this tractor necessarily cut and hang and then windrowing it and all that shit too. So putting a buttload of hours on it. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope everything is going good for you. It's Friday today. So hopefully I'll be able to get this video out today. If not, it'll be tomorrow. So happy weekend to you guys. Hopefully you guys got something good going on. Um, so I hopefully weather permitting will be cooking out on Saturday. Invite a few people over and stuff. And you can get all that, so yeah. Although this is a little bit, uh, a little bit weird. I mowed at work today. Uh, I took care of a few quick trips that we mow, as well as my boss's neighbor's place that he does. So yeah, mowing grass and now I'm mowing here. here so uh, that's kind of neat. <laughs> but um, yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah, but yeah, I just can't seem to get away from fucking mowing today. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely do a lot of mowing. <laughs> Real life in here, so. But, yeah. Anyways, like I said, uh, today's Friday, so happy Friday to you guys. Um, hopefully you guys are working the weekends and stuff, but we'll see. You know, I know some of you guys probably do, so not much you can do about that. So that's a nice shot. But get that one there too. That might actually be the money shot here. <laughs> but um, yeah, so like I said, uh, hopefully doing the cookout tomorrow night. Um, weather permitting, so gonna get a few people. Hopefully invite a few people over and uh, and all that. So of course, rain day yesterday. I don't know if it rained where you're at here watching watching this video, but. Here in southwest Wisconsin, we got dumped on pretty good yesterday, and a little bit yet today. So, yeah. 
definitely been a wet couple of days here, so in real life probably wouldn't be cutting hay right now. <laughs> it's a little spongy, a little soft out there, so This thing hauls ass, I tell you what, man. Holy shit. Yeah, this track is definitely going to be seeing some action here. Some hay, cutting, some chopper box, pulling gravity box, pulling shit like that. Uh, might be doing a little bit of tilling with it. We'll see how things go and and what we're doing here, but uh, yeah, this tractor is going to get the shit used out of it now, so... That beeper is a little bit annoying though. Let me check, can you fill this back up? Yep, okay, we're good then. I don't have to dig with that. And the door trigger works. Fucking nice, dude. Perfect. in the old tin here. sure my cows are hungry. So I had to go back in and modify the game file and all that kind of stuff. Cause like I said yep. we got the straw. I did that. Um just because I kinda wanted to get going on this. Straw is no big deal, you guys have seen that so but yeah. <laughs> then I had to go back in, modify the game file there, and get her uh, get her squared away there, so she's back to zero, and then go ahead and start the recording again. Because, like I said, I was a bonehead and forgot to record some, so, yeah, kind of pissed me off. I <laughs> seem to do that more than I'd like to admit, <laughs> but, um, yeah. But, like I said, uh, wanted to get going on the dairy cattle here, and as well as show off the new stuff, so, which uh, you guys have seen the 235 before, um, and then I decided I was going to go with uh, um, 4640, which, don't get me wrong, nice tractor, I just wanted to change it up, do something different, and kind of get everything in case I each again. Especially when you got sweet old magnums involved, so. <laughs> oh man. It's 
So, sorry if you guys want the 4440 and stuff better, but um, like I said, just decided to go something different. Get everything red here, like most farms are, strictly, usually strictly red or green. Um, there is a little mix, mix and match, but for the most part, yeah, around here you're usually strictly green or strictly red, so... And like I said, I grew up hardcore green, but you know what? I figured out along the way, um, John Deere isn't necessarily the end all and be all, so sometimes you just kind of got to pick and choose what you like rather than go based on your family tradition. And don't get me wrong, family traditions are okay, you know, they're, they're all right. I'm not saying there's anything bad about it. And, you know, brand loyalty isn't necessarily a horrible thing. But, sometimes, you miss out on good equipment or stuff like that because of brand loyalty. So, but, uh, like I said before, you know, my family is New Holland hay equipment pretty much. So, but, you know, like I said, you know, you're going to miss out on possibly some pretty good things and some tractors and stuff that will work really really well for you and fit your operation really nice if you're just strictly stuck on brand loyalty so it's one of those things where you can take it or leave it you know some people just like what they like and that's cool you know what I'm not gonna bash anybody um, but uh, you know hey it is what it is you, you like what you like um, and, but you don't necessarily have to stick with family traditions. So, uh, like I said, you can sometimes miss out on things when you're brand loyalty. Uh, for example, uh, most of my family is primarily Ford. Always has been Ford, and I was hardcore Ford there for a long, long time. However, um, you know, if I was strictly brand loyalty, I wouldn't have that, um, I wouldn't have my second gen now. You know, I, I liked liked Ford, but then you know what? I saw what my boss's trucks will do and what a Dodge will take and things like that. So I decided, you know what? We're gonna just, you know, kind of forge my own path here. So. And I like Cummins Power, and I've talked about that before. So. But yeah, brain loyalty can be a good thing, you know. It just kind of depends. Yeah, I, I like this too, you know, um, this new equipment I upgraded to, um, the door triggers actually work, so uh, I'm pretty happy about that. I don't have to get in and out of the tractor 86 times. Um, obviously you still do when you go into the gate over there, but it's, yeah, it's nice not having to do that. And being able to have a little bit bigger, a couple bigger pieces of equipment here is going to be nice as well. Um, and especially if you're going to have a uh, claws chopper like I do, you know, your tractors are probably going to be a little bit, are going to be decent size as well. Um, although the 235 I think is technically only 50 more horsepower than what I think I have on the, on the, uh, 
4640, but eh, whatever. <laughs> And the fact I'm able to refuel things is nice. Um, granted, I never ran out of fuel with the other, those other tractors, but eh, it just because I, I tweaked the game file. But you know what? It's I like this a lot better. You know, being able to not only be able to open the door, be able to uh, have a little bit bigger equipment here. You know, in some ways. Um, and then being able to refuel. So, all those things considered factored in and that I also considered when I was doing this, as well as just kind of wanting to just, you know what, just let's just be all red, you know. Um, maybe I'll lose some fans here, but that's okay. Uh, hopefully you guys just enjoy the videos more than necessarily. All about what brand it is. Um, stuff like that. Now here in the states, we don't necessarily do this pick up grass and stuff. It's mostly a hay and corn silage diet, um, as well as mixed feed and stuff. But that's primarily what we're going to have here in the states. So this picking up, it, there's some of it. I'm not saying there's not anybody here in the states that doesn't do it. I mean they did green chopping, you know. There's felt, you know, choppers, whatever back in the day. Um, that was a fairly popular thing, but for the most part doing this kind of stuff, eh, it's not really too common here, right now anyway. Will it pick up in popularity? You know, possibly, sure, it could happen. Um, but, uh, like I said, for the most part, mm, it ain't really here yet, so... I mean, there is some some farms that do it. Uh, like I said, I'm not saying there isn't any farms that do it, but I'm not going to worry about these little scraggly pieces here. I'm more or less just trying to go ahead and get this picked up. Plenty of trailer here for this. We'll be able to get this all on here. Sweet. You don't have to make two trips like in the last video. It was kind of extra long, so. Uh, yeah. Maybe it worked out for the best. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, another piece of news. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be getting my tires on my second gen. So tomorrow hopefully I'll be able to have the third gen wheels on there. And I uh, picked up, I'm going to be picking up some used tires. So I'm just going to take it down to Don's Tire, the local tire shop there. So shout out to Don's Tire. Um, and have them throw them on there. So already got the guy who uh, previously owned the truck is going to be getting the steel wheels back, the steel 16s, so those won't be up for graduating, so hopefully you guys aren't disappointed about that or anything, but uh, yeah, so the original 16s are going back to the original owner, so. Hopefully none of these big sluts decide to make a break for it. 
like happened on last time. I think I've got a little manure here already. There you go, you fat sluts. <laughs> Ungrateful bitches! Doing nothing but fucking moon and shit. Here's your goddamn food. Oh shit. Alright, let's get this. Turn here so I can make the turn. No! Don't you go for that gate. Son of a bitch. You fucking whole bag. Now in real life you'd have somebody else open and shut this gate for you. Because as soon as these assholes see an open gate they haul ass for it. And if you farmed in real life you know exactly what I'm talking about and you know that's the truth. So, <laughs> yeah. I think the next episode we might be doing some corn chopping here. Um, I've got plenty of silage that I've built up. Um, but, um, I think we're going to do one, just because it's been so long since I've used the claws there, you know, the Jaguar 980 there, and stuff like that, so, I'm going to get that, get that going, do some corn chopping, and go over the course play thing again, I'll have to set up all my new routes, so, hopefully you guys will be okay with that. I gotta get some new silos set up over there if I can get this fucking thing straight. Um, yeah, I gotta get some new silos set up over there. Um, but yeah, that'll be the next. Well, the next episode is gonna be um, uh, mixing the TMR and all that kind of bullshit. And putting the silage in there and shit like that, so... So yeah. That's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the video here. I'm sure it's been long enough. I'm sure it's over 30 minutes now. So it won't be, won't be rambling on too much here. But yeah, 2.35 here. Got that to replace the... 4640 and of course the Magnum 70 or 7210. So, till the next episode, guys, which hopefully will be tomorrow. I might release it as a two parter all in one day, or if I can hopefully have time here to get it up tonight, I will do that. But, uh, till the next episode, guys, take her easy, happy farming, all that good stuff, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you then.